Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Lucid. We're hopping back into our game with Scalaria. It is turn 12, which means it's the start of a new year. It's early spring, and uh, so far we've done a pretty good job expanding with no Bless uh, and no Awake Pretender, only taking scales. And uh, we found a site. We found an enchanted gate, which is very good. We need to go ahead and get our astral income up. Uh, right now it starts off with one, but we're up to two. So that is appreciated. Um, do I have any other sites? We have an arena, and that's it. So, so far, not many sites. Um, this is one turn away from being done. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this preacher here, over here. Uh, we've been making preachers every turn, but so far we haven't really been using them to make skeletons. We're using them to build more temples, etc. Um, this fort... Oh, here we are. This fort's pretty close to being done. Two months left. Let's watch this battle real quick. You can see we won, but it was going to be somewhat obvious. Um, yeah, when you get enough of these guys, that first javelin volley ends up doing so much damage. And there we go. It looks like we took some casualties, though. Yeah, we took two. And this is against the Barbarians, so let's take a look. Okay, that was a pretty good salvo. Um, yeah, those javelins did a lot of work, but you can see we took a fair amount of damage. Uh, we lost 13 units. Uh, yeah, they and they, they killed those 13 units pretty quickly. If that drug out another round or two, we would have been in big trouble. Um, okay, this is a kind of shitty event. That means there is a heretic preacher in this province, and I have to patrol to get them out, uh, which I'm not super excited about because I want my good dominion here. But anyway. Um... What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and build a palisade here in this fort, or in this province. And so far, I don't know if you can tell, we're building way more forts than you would normally do. We've got one here, we've got one here, uh, we've got one here, we've got one here. Basically, almost every turn I'm trying to put up a new palisade, like this was the one for this turn. Um, and then I need to be building, oh, we're also building one here. I think I did that this turn too. Yeah, I did that this turn. So this turn I actually built two, uh, which is possible because I have really, really high income. Um, I'm still doing Thaumaturgs here. Soon I will switch over to the Grand Thaumaturgs, but right now these I really need gold, and these guys are not as gold efficient for researching. Um, and yeah, anyway, we're continuing to spam these out. I need human troops, so we're making more and more and more. Uh, and then, as I mentioned, we're going to be converging this group, which are a bunch of soulless, because uh, what you'll find with your uh, early priests, sometimes you can have them on a province you just conquered. There's a lot of corpses on the ground, which you can turn into soulless rather than the long dead. And uh, yeah, we're basically going to be moving them in here. Uh, these guys are not going to be at the front. They're going to kind of trickle in and add to the front lines. But you can put them in the front. Uh, well, the troops I do have near the front are these guys. who are my uh, Retariuses. And I just want them to tie up the Jade Maidens uh, for the Alpha Strike. Um, one thing I also have to worry about is Abyssias here with Lava Warriors. And 40 Lava Warriors is a lot. Uh, if he attacks this province too, which is kind of what I'm worried about, uh, I could be in trouble. Yeah. I don't know. It would be really bad news if he attacked me with 40 Lava Warriors. So, uh, we're going to come in here. This should work. Mm, yeah. And right now, we don't look very scary to anybody. So, uh, which is why it's so easy to do Diplo. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't go through any of my sent messages last, uh, last turn. Let me just show you real quick. Because I think last turn I did a lot of Diplo. It was turn 11. I keep saying I'm going to do Diplo and don't do it. So 
Here's my message to Marion Yon. Um, I'm going to take 72 and 67, but feel free to expand up in here. So that's these with 67 and 72. I basically say I'm getting these two, but he can expand down here. Um, and then I say, how far is this expanded north of the lake? He has a couple provinces on the southern side. And to man, I say, greetings, man. We have no interest in an early war with you and wish to have peace. Currently, Yus seems to be quite large, and I'm betting he will take the island from Pan. Though our scouting network is imperfect, would you be interested in Nap 3 for 12 months? Uh, now, Man and I do not have a big border, and it's highly unlikely Man would want to attack me uh, through here, but uh, better to go ahead and secure the Nap 3 for somebody I don't intend to attack. And then to Pangea, I say, starting with Pan on the island is rough, especially with Yus lurking in the ocean. Uh, though your buffed war... Um, White Centaurs can probably get through that defense-focused Mobark Knights. How's expansion going? And then I say, also, if you want to kick Yus off the island, you have our assurance of a friendly border. And then to Marignan, I say, we can also do Nap 3 for 12 months, if you like, till the end of the second year. So I'm trying to kind of make peace with some of my neighbors, which, at this point in time, they have every reason to, because so far it looks like I'm just playing a human-themed Scalaria. Um, which is what I am doing, but I'm going to transition into a very scary undead version. Um, and I think that's... Oh, I was just showing you my diplomacy, now we're going to go back to our actual turn. Turn 12. Right, so anyway, we're doing this, we're a little worried about uh, Abyssia bumping us. I haven't talked to him in Steam, so I don't know if he's going to or not. But, anyway. Um, and, as I mentioned, we're going to be taking this group and running up and trying to take these barbs with it. Uh, this will probably be very high attrition. Uh, equal number of tr like heavy infantry versus barbs, you're usually going to take a lot of losses. But with javelins, I probably can win. So I'm going to be kind of counting on that. And if I get this and this, I'll be really happy. Uh, that is all the land I need for this portion of time. Uh, this guy's, yeah, like I said, we're building more palisades. Uh, I think, what, this one's coming up next? No, this one's coming up next. And then we're building a fort here. This fort will be done. And this fort is going to be really huge. And I'll talk about that when we pull up the next turn, which is turn 13. Um, okay, we have a message from Man. Hey, we agree to your terms for nap. We're also concerned about yes as he's already established palisades on land and controls at least another province close to Pangaea. I'm afraid Pangaea's white centaurs, of which he has many, might be ill-equipped and ill-blessed to take on Yus, but I don't know... Um, but I know little of Yus's current plans and tactics. Um... Okay, so I basically I'd asked for nap three for a year, but I think he thought I wanted like a firm commitment to a year. So he says nap three sounds more logical. Anyway, so I'm going to agree to that. Uh, and then Agartha says those Shardguard and Nern are just sunbathing for a bit while they uh, wait for their leader to take them. Uh, to take Agarthan engravings promoting multiculturalism to the underwater people of the nearby lake. Uh, no need to worry on your nascent fort. Uh, oh, you're shivering from the cold, right? We're sorry. Huh. So these guys here... Um, I think I actually messaged Garth in Steam, and I'm like, Hey, dude. Um, basically, this lake is not covered in our nap. <laughs> uh, but we'll see how that goes. I can't remember exactly what turn I do that on, but I'm basically, I see these shard guard here and I know they're going in the lake and I want this lake. I want this lake really bad. Um, not just for the income, but it's going to open up all sorts of raiding possibilities here. Uh, so that if Abyssia ever tries to attack me, I can raid him here, here, and here. And then, uh, if he ever kills me, I can retreat into the lake. So, uh, lots of strategic advantage for potentially fighting Abyssia later if I control the lake. And what else? I 
think that's about it. Um, yeah, so this fort finished. We're going to be building a temple, and we're going to be upgrading it. This fortress finished, and I had mentioned it was important because now I have two uh, recruitment points. So I get two preachers a turn. And uh, this is the point where I will say that this nation is way stronger than it was in Dominions 4. Normally in Dominions 4, you would be getting your undead factory going way sooner because you only need a temple to start producing. But it's a little risky because in Dominions 4, you would have a lot of kind of undefended temple provinces at the beginning where if somebody raids you, you're kind of screwed. Um, but here, obviously, I don't have that. I have a fort, which means I'm quite secure. And I get two, twice as many per province uh, as you could in Dominions 4. And these guys are 45 gold, whereas Indie Preachers are 60. So that means they cost less to recruit. Uh, and they cost less upkeep. And I get twice as many from every single province that I want to put this in. So I'm going to want them in every province. Uh, and this is why they're so strong. I think if the devs are watching this, because I think this nation is way overpowered. And you don't know why yet, because like right now I've had a very normal expansion. And yeah, maybe I could have gotten ganged up on earlier, but I did have counters to a lot of the stuff people could throw at me. But... Uh, I think making... These guys should cost 60 gold. 45 is too cheap. I, I don't think you change the number of recruitment points. But making them 60 gold I think would be fair. Anyway. Um, okay, so we're going to come and take this. And I think we'll be able to take this. Uh, these actually are kind of strong for undead troops. Uh, but we'll see. And the really nice part about this area, even though this is kind of not a great starting location, uh, there's a ton of Plains Provinces, which give me a lot of income, which is something I really want. Like, I'm less interested in the mountains, which are going to be lower income. And swamps and wastelands, which are higher gem. I really want money. So anyway, we're bringing this stuff in. I One of the preachers here that I made is going to run troops over here. Um... And yeah, we're doing a temple. You can see we're not putting labs in yet. My first priority is to get uh, spamming these guys out, which this is my first real fort I have spamming them out now. Uh, this one will have one set up soon. Um, these provinces are coming along. We've got this palisade finishing, and at the same time we're building a temple. Uh, this one's coming along two months left. I just started this one this turn. And uh, this one, we're going to be going ahead and moving, uh, building a fort here. Because, oh wait, did we watch this? I don't think we did. I got caught up in diplomacy and then, uh, yeah. Okay. And those Retarius made quick work of the Jade Maidens. And that's it. So, uh, anyway, I definitely want to keep this. I'm going to be fording this basically as soon as I can. That's why we're moving this scout in. Uh, I'm also going to be building a lab. I don't need a temple here quite yet, but I need a lab to make these ladies. And I want to get the first few out and just sight search. Because it's my only access to nature and water. Uh, water's going to allow me to make shambler skin, skin armor to send my dudes underwater, which is something I definitely, definitely want. Um... I've also got three turns left here. I don't... I don't want this to die, so I'm going to go ahead and move these guys here, and then I'm also going to position myself to take this. I might have staled one of these turns. This might have been a turn I staled. I don't know. But fortunately, Abyssia did not fight me here. Instead, they took this province, which is quite fine. Um, a lot of corpses here, too, so we're going to make more soulless. Um, yeah, you can see we took this too, so I think that's about it. I don't know what else there's to say about this turn. Let's take a quick look at research. Uh, research, you can see I finished Enchantment 3, so I can do Mound Kings and stuff, which, well, I could have done that a while ago. Uh, Conjuration 3, we're up to about 100 a turn, which is pretty damn good for the beginning of the first year, or beginning of the second year. 
Uh, and very quickly, we'll have Enchantment 5. And when I have Enchantment 5, you really don't want to mess with me on land, because I can now bring eight of these guys, which I can communion up, and, uh, yeah. They can do a lot of damage with Power of the Spheres and then Skelly Spam. And each one I get allows me to kind of, if I know where an attack's going to be, I can send all these guys in one turn and sacrifice some research and do a ton of damage. Um, for events, we have more shitty events, unrest, and population. Thanks. And then uh, another event, we have a nine, ma nine nature gems, which is quite nice. And then we have plus one luck. So we had our first good event, which was nine nature gems. So I'll take it. Um, this guy's continuing to site search. And I think that's about it. Basically, I'm just putting forts up all over the place. Fort, fort, fort. Um, fort, fort. If you're fighting Scalaria, this is the point in the game when they're weak. Uh, some people want to get an awake pretender for this. Um, what I prefer to do is just have always a nice stash of Retarius on hand with a lot of troops so you can respond to threats. Uh, but the problem is if I start getting raided, I'm going to have to, instead of spending all my money on forts, I'm going to have to start doing PD dumps and then putting armies in place on top of the forts I am building. Because um, I can't afford to have them raided. So this is a vulnerable stage if you're fighting Scalaria, even though... Uh, maybe it, you want to make peace with them. It's kind of tricky um, Because they're probably if they're going this build like if you see Scalaria with scales Especially once I put this video out and people will be copying it um, Then if you see somebody going scales with Scalaria You you really want to raid them at the beginning of the second year because there's gonna be a lot of forts you need to have good units, like you need to be really high in your power curve so you can fight them, but if you are, it's there's not going to be any easier time to fight them for the rest of the game. And uh, if you're killing forts, that's going to put a huge dent in how fast Scalaria uh, grows. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We're going to go ahead and load up the next turn. I, what was that, turn 13? I think that was 13. Let's try 14 here. Okay, so we have news from Abyssia. Uh, I have more news for you. Yes, ha did conquer Indy Province 42. The last Indy Province boarding my cap. We did expand uh, strongly in other directions in the early game. Obviously, we're not amused at all about this. Uh, plus, he's not reacting at all to messengers. Uh, he now knows that Abyssia is in a pretty strong position, already having three forts up. Uh, next turn, third will finish, and having pretty dangerous armies, even for him. Still, Abyssia won't be able to wage war versus him that early. Uh, hating this a lot right now. His bless is attack plus two, attack and defense plus two, shock and poison resist plus ten, fire cold five, reinvig two, HP two, and blood surge. So that's pretty damn strong. It's a it's an imprisoned. Nothing here is incarnate, so this is probably an imprisoned build. And he's using uh, Movark Knights with uh, a Druid. Anyway, this is if if you're trying to kind of build up an alliance against somebody, it's so helpful to send them information on what they're expanding with, what his forces are, and what the blesses. Uh, it makes other people more confident attacking him. Okay, we have a magic site. We found a burial mound, which is a death one site. Um, and that's really good. I need more death income because these death gems are all going to get turned into kings very shortly. Um, and that's going to be really important for any wars I want to fight underwater. And moving undead around in general, which I don't have many undead yet, but that will change, I promise. Um, okay, I'm taking... Where are you? This, I probably should have done this last turn, but anyway, we're moving this guy down here, and we're going to build a lab. Meanwhile, we've started Palisade construction, we're making a few more Solus. This preacher is going to come over here, uh, because this fort is about to finish, and we'll put a temple up. Um, 
yeah, we still can't make a palisade here. Uh, but basically, we're going to go ahead and converge these armies and take this province. Which should be pretty damn easy. And yeah, he's just waiting. This one finished. We're doing a fortress upgrade here. We have our temple. Uh, and because of that... Oh, I'm, I probably should have, but I didn't. I could have started building priests here. I didn't. Uh, these these are cranking out. I now need to get more forts up as fast as possible. So you can see I've shut down, finally. It's the end of spring in year two. I've shut down a lot of my human uh, production. Now the reasons I've done this is because I have a fair amount of armies, given my size. Uh, enough armies where I kind of can defend myself if somebody attacks me. And I can rapidly get a lot of Retarius, too, if I need to respond very quickly to somebody attacking me. But, um, yeah. Not so bad. Um, I found Satis up here, too. He's got a fort here. This is a, a farmland province. I would like to take this at some point. But I'm not going to mess with Satis right now. Um... Yeah, so this guy's basically going to move here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm probably just moving around. Um, this fortress has one turn left. I probably would have liked to have... Oh, I already have a temple up. Am I getting... I am getting preachers here, though. Okay. Next turn, I'll be getting two preachers a turn. Or cultists, if you will. And we're two turns away from a fort here. One turn away here. And uh, I think that's it. You can see also Pangea has indeed attacked Yus. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send my scout here. We're going to watch this battle. But um, pretty good bless for fighting Yus. Like about as good of a bless as you can have. Uh, and let's see. We'll go ahead and pull up the next turn. I think that was turn... Was that turn 14? I think it was. Oh, I didn't actually watch this battle. We fought... Um, these are the ghouls. It's kind of cool. These are ganas, which are ethereal units. And then these are... Uh, Pisashas. Pis I don't know how you say it, but... Uh, I do have some uh, a priest here, so that will really help. That priest actually probably does more damage than anybody else. I wonder how many he killed. Oh, five? Yeah, that's not bad. Um, so if that was turn 14, then I think that means we're on turn 15, which will be the last turn for this episode. Yeah, and as I thought, I staled. I knew I staled one time in the beginning of the game. Um, which actually turns out to not be a huge deal. I did this turn, I didn't actually submit it, which is why you saw turn orders last turn. Uh, I didn't submit it. Now, why... I, I should be sending him here. Why am I sneaking over there? Anyway, I don't know. Um... So, I didn't actually execute this attack. Basically, this turn, it's the same stuff I would have done last turn. I'm sending all these guys here. Um, but I've already secured my border, so it doesn't really matter. This was kind of the best time to stale. Um, this fort now finished, so we're getting two per turn. We've started recruiting these guys. We're going to be doing two per turn quite shortly. That fortress is up in two months. We're going ahead and upgrading this fortress. We're moving in a cultist also to this fort. Uh, this fort is two turns away from being done. Uh, we finally started building a fort here, and this fort's getting close. It's four months away, and I'm moving, as I said, I would have last turn uh, this guy in. So anyway, basically everything I was going to do last turn, I'm doing this turn because I forgot to submit my turn. Um, I think what happened was I was waiting for somebody else to submit, and I was using the turn reminder to remember to uh, postpone hosting. Uh, and anyway, it ended up biting me in the butt. So, uh, I think that's it for this turn and this episode. And, uh, anyway, initial expansion is fully done. We have totally secured our borders. And, uh, now we have to basically get our infrastructure up while we are all peaceful. And as soon as my infrastructure gets up, uh, I'm going to look to probably try to take this lake. 
and then I'm going to be looking for my first war target. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.